Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to show mouse hatch over in your patch programs. So, mouse hatch over is quite a difficult task with its with respect to patch programming. So, we have got plugins for this purpose to detect the current mouse position and do a specific task on the CMD console according to that position. So, we have got three plugins for this purpose out of which input.dxe is created by me <coughs> because I didn't find these two plugins I have I found these two after creating this plugin so let's look at them one by one what are their advantages and what are their limitations I will start from the input.dxe and as you can see let me open it in the separate window so you can easily see what I'm going to show <coughs> excuse me as you can see here I have opened cmdvis in a separate folder then get input and then simple input so I'm going to start with the input function only so just minimize I have just double click on the input and as you can see I am moving my mouse and a little dot with my mouse cursor is moving within the CMD console and as you can see if there is a text hello I am a text please hover me so or etch over me so I am I can highlight the mouse highlight the text by etch overing the mouse on it so this is mouse mouse etch overing effect in the CMD console you can achieve it simply using input.exe plugin which is of 1.2 MB of file size I have used padbox in to put that little dot at the same position as that of cursor so technically this file is using two plugins the file size is 867 bytes which is quite small while in the case of get input the size is about 1.7 GB and it is showing a quite amazing output on the console and as you can see as I'm going over, over these color these boxes the color is changing according to the color return on it so if I can select B then it is showing me selected color B on the other hand CMD is, is similar to input whether you can see the 838 bytes of the file size and it is doing approximate same work as that of the input function but the difference is that cmd is, is of only 74.3 kbs and get input is of 3.5 kbs while input odx is of 1.26 mbs so i have compiled this file in c++ by the c++ compiler so it has given me this much file size for my executable i don't know why but it has given me 1.62 MBs. So let's see how much resource hungry these file these plugins are. As you can see, normally, normally the CPU usage is of approximate 20 to 30 percent. And if I will run the input.exe plugin file, and I will start moving around with my mouse, the maximum CPU usage it can go up to is 80 percent so now let's check the same thing with CMD base and you can see that while I'm using my mouse it is going approximate 77 percent or 78 79 percent so it is approximate 80 percent so similar to that input.exe plugin while input get input turns the mouse nothing more than 1 to 2 percent as you can see that I am moving my mouse quite fast in the console window but all I can see is only 2 percent of difference in the CPU usage or 3 to 5 percent so in the get input as you can see you know that C and C++ are quite resource friendly 
languages so what programmer has done that it has checked for mouse hover mouse hatch over inside the plugin and when you will click on any of the specified position or boxes of the color then it will return the position or number of the box for example if you will click on the fifth box so it will respond 5 in the error level so according to that error level the color code is fetched out from the list and it is displayed on the console so in a way that as you can see there is no loop or go to statement here the loop of the mouse checking is inside the plugin itself so it is making this file quite resource friendly on the other hand if you will see the cmd viz here is the loop and we are going back to the loop uh, here go to loop and then after that we are checking and then go to loop again so we are running the same the number of script and we are running the loop inside the batch so which is making cpu to jump that much higher same scenario with the input.dxc plugin and we are here going to top and this is the top so it is going to run again and again for checking for each time we where is the mouse position is so this makes them quite resource hungry batch files on the other hand if these files have to run for a few time or for very less time in the computer then this is fine otherwise get input will be your first choice for your batch programs although the usage of input.exe plugin is quite easy that it follows the same syntax as that of padbox or bg.exe or any other batch plugin although in cmdvis you have to specify or you have to take the output of the mouse or of the plugin in a quite complex manner and you have to read that file and then save that loop inside the file then you have to check the events so it makes the programmer quite un uncomfortable while using this plugin for the first time because they are not using the standard computations or standards standard for the patch that we have created using badbox or bg.exe on the other hand input.exe is also quite complex you have to set the colors and the position of the boxes then you have you can simply use the positions and that of the colors you please visit other videos or watch other videos related to these plugins and you will know how to use them I have tried to compare these plugins but this video is going quite long so I will compare them in the next video. So that's it for now. You can download these files from the link given below and thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. Bye bye. Please subscribe to my channel.